It seems like the DC Universe is mixing up things with its beloved Christopher Nolan Batman, while James Gunn and Peter Safran have big plans for a variety of projects, including Superman Legacy, The Authority, Swamp Thing, Creature Commandos, Waller, Lanterns, Booster Gold and Paradise Lost. This reboot aims to reshape the entire DC Universe. One of the upcoming films, The Brave and the Bold, takes inspiration from Grant Morrison's comic series, introducing Batman and Damian Wayne as Robin in a fresh storyline. Well, that being, you're here for Christopher Nolan's Batman, so let's dive in. Christopher Nolan's Batman movies are considered some of the best superhero films ever. People wonder what would have happened if he made a fourth one with Christian Bale as Batman. Batman has a long history in movies, starting with serials in the 1940s and the 1960s TV series adaptation. In 1989, Tim Burton's Batman was a hit, followed by Batman Returns in 1992. The character faced challenges with Joel Schumacher's Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. However, Christopher Nolan revived Batman in 2005 with Batman Begins, exploring the character's origins. The success led to two more films, The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises, with the former being the standout in the trilogy. Warner Brothers has been cautious about featuring Batman's sidekick Robin in movies since the disappointment of Batman and Robin. In The Dark Knight Rises, there's a subtle nod to a Robin storyline with other classic red spandex or famous holy Batman lines, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character, John Blake, a GCPD detective and fellow orphan like the boy Wonder becomes Bruce's protege. Towards the movie's end, it's revealed that his legal name is Robin, however since he doesn't wear a cape or act as Batman's sidekick, The Dark Knight Rises pays homage to the iconic character without fully embracing the traditional role of Robin. In the final chapter of Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy, things took a surprising turn. Batman, portrayed by Christian Bale, made a heroic sacrifice by carrying a bomb away from Gotham, saving the city. His selfless act positioned him as the hometown hero he was destined to be. Meanwhile, Alfred, Batman's loyal butler, went to Florence, Italy, hoping to find Bruce Wayne leading a quiet life. This mirrored a scenario he had imagined earlier, adding a layer of emotional complexity to the narrative. The story took an unexpected twist when Alfred spotted Bruce in Florence enjoying lunch with Selina Kyle. Some viewers questioned whether this happy ending was just another Nolan's mind-bending tricks, akin to the spinning top in Inception. However, Christian Bale clarified that this conclusion was indeed reality. Bruce's retirement with Selina was genuine, supported by the revelation that he had fixed the autopilot on the bat. The Dark Knight Rises introduced Officer John Blake, portrayed by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, as a potential successor to Batman. Blake, overcoming his own struggles as an orphan, became a champion for underprivileged children and reconnected Wayne Enterprises with his childhood orphanage. The film hinted at his future role as Gotham's new masked hero, especially when he discovered the Batcave. While his specific crime-fighting style wasn't revealed, his optimistic attitude suggested he could carry on Bruce Wayne's legacy. The movie's closing scenes, where Blake inherits the key to the Batcave, left fans wondering if a sequel was in the cards. The Dark Knight Rises created a pathway for further exploration of Nolan's dark Gotham, with Blake ready to take on Batman's mantle. The potential for new installments was heightened by untapped iconic villains from the comics. However, Joseph Gordon-Levitt expressed skepticism about a fourth Nolan installment, emphasizing the thematic significance of a new Batman emerging at the trilogy's conclusion. Even if Christopher Nolan and Joseph Gordon-Levitt decide not to return to the Batman material, there remains a possibility for another filmmaker to pick up where Nolan's series left off in the future. The precedent set by Brian Singer's Superman Returns, which served as a sequel to Superman 2 after a 26-year gap, shows that returning to beloved franchises is not unprecedented even when ignoring certain events in their timelines. Before Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy, the Batman film series took a campy turn with 1997's Batman and Robin, negatively impacting the character's movie popularity. Nolan's series marked a significant tonal shift, offering a more serious and a dramatic interpretation of Batman. This shift unintentionally set a new standard for DC's extended universe films, influencing portrayals of Batman, Superman and the Justice League. The darker tone became a defining characteristic in subsequent DC films. Nolan's trilogy also established a precedent for standalone series, a concept that gained popularity in the era of shared comic book universes. While shared universes became a dominant trend, Nolan's Batman series showed that a self-contained and well-crafted trilogy could achieve both financial success and critical acclaim. It proved that a compelling narrative could be achieved without the need for an extensive shared universe, a departure from the approach of other franchises. 
The Dark Knight Rises concluded Nolan's Batman series with an ambiguous yet satisfying ending. The questions surrounding Bruce Wayne's fate and the potential emergence of a new Batman in John Blake sparked discussions among fans. Despite varying opinions from filmmakers and actors about the possibility of a sequel, the series remains a significant and influential part of Batman's cinematic history. Whether or not the trilogy continues in the future, it has left an enduring impact on how superhero films are approached and presented to audiences, showcasing the potential for depth and complexity within the genre. Christian Bale's revelation about the one film at a time mentality shared with Christopher Nolan explains why a fourth Dark Knight Rises movie never materialized. Their commitment to a cohesive trilogy vision meant sticking to the planned narrative arc, concluding the story with The Dark Knight Rises, despite Warner Brothers' interest in a fourth installment. Bale's departure led to a new era for Batman on screen. Ben Affleck took on the role in the DCEU, exploring Batman's seasoned years in Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. Robert Pattinson brought a fresh take in Matt Reeves' as The Batman, delving into the character's early crime-fighting journey in a separate universe from Nolan's trilogy. Nolan's decision to neatly conclude the trilogy allowed subsequent filmmakers to explore different facets of Batman's story. The ending, with Bruce Wayne retiring and passing the legacy to Joseph Gordon-Levitt's John Blake, hinted at potential spin-offs. Blake, possibly becoming Batman's sidekick Robin, offered an opportunity to expand Nolan's universe. Nolan's trilogy not only provided a powerful narrative, but also laid the foundation for diverse Batman interpretations. The character's ability to adapt to various contexts ensures his legacy captivates audiences. Christian Bale's willingness to return under Nolan's direction showed dedication to Batman, but practical challenges in DC's evolving cinematic universe might complicate such a reunion. DC's recent embrace of the multiverse concept offers intriguing possibilities. While projects like The Batman explore different iterations, the multiverse allows various Batmen to coexist. Similar to Spider-Man No Way Home, DC could explore crossovers between different Batmen, giving Christian Bale's Batman meaningful appearances alongside other versions and satisfying fans' desires for on-screen collaborations. This approach opens doors to exciting storytelling opportunities within the vast and dynamic Batman multiverse. The ending of The Dark Knight Rises for Batman was both perfect and expected. Bruce Wayne never planned to be Batman forever. When he saw that Gotham could survive without him, he was ready to stop being Batman. Whether he really died in the explosion or just retired is left for each person watching to decide. In a different approach called the multiverse, Christian Bale coming back as Batman is a possible and exciting idea. Even if there isn't a direct sequel to The Dark Knight Rises, the multiverse lets beloved characters like Bale's Batman continue their stories in new and interesting ways. As long as there's a great story to tell, the multiverse gives endless possibilities to explore the lasting impact of characters like Batman. This makes the idea of Bale returning as Batman something filmmakers and audiences might find really interesting. That's it for today's video, thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Feel free to share your suggestions for future videos in the comments below.